Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Thompson from eResearch. How are you today, Chris? I'm good. And yourself? Chris, I'm a fan of your writing, as you know, and I just received an update report on EQ Inc. And, you know, it looked good. It looks like your, your key uh, message is you're, you're maintaining the buy rating and increasing their one-year price target to $2.60. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. So tell us what you determined in this report update and why we need to read it. Yeah, well, uh, you know, EQ is a very interesting uh, a company. It, um, it's a sort of one of these big data AI analytics companies uh, that is, um, you know, it's focusing on uh, using uh, geospatial data uh, to deliver results for its clients who are looking to, um, to sort of grow their client base uh, but with targeted advertising. So it, it evolved from the ad tech space uh, and, and it's been growing over the last couple of years um, in increasing its, its, its the data side of its business where the clients uh, use a very extensive uh, database they have uh, on, on tracking of clients uh, to help them generate new leads and revenue. Um, and so the, the ad tech part of their business uh, is slowly decreasing. So the, and the data side is in, increasing dramatically. It, it grew last year uh, 100% uh, year over year. Um, and it's, you know, your typical sort of your SaaS based you know, monthly revenue, which is uh, which the market likes, and, and you know, typically gives a higher multiple too. Um, and and one of the, the the reasons why I did a revenue bump, uh, you know, year over year was that in January they signed a client who was looking to spend uh, you know four million dollars just on the data side of their business, uh, and so that's why I, I see you know pretty good uh, you know growth for the company this year. Even with COVID, I sort of gave it a, a little bit more of a muted you know, uh, growth rate of only 40% uh, year over year, and then increasing next year to 60% year over year. And that's how I sort of get my, my target price. Okay, so further to what you just said, which of course was my next question, Chris, which was to tell me more about EQ. Um, mm -hmm. we've, I've got notes here in front of me. Data mining business, specializing in location-based or geospatial data. You just touched on that. According to yep. your report, it's one of Canada's largest providers of location-based data with over one petabyte. So why don't we just back you up? Could you tell us what a petabyte is? And then give yeah. us some it's competitive a, reasons why you should be in this industry. Yeah, a petabyte is a, is a, a million billion uh, bytes of data. So it's a lot of data and they, and they both have proprietary data sets as well as they buy third-party data from uh, you know, cell pro phone providers, and other geolocation uh, data that they amalgamate together for their clients. The, the best way to understand the company and, and its value for its clients is an example where, you know, if you are driving on, in, uh, on a highway by uh, one of these electronic billboards that can be controlled, um, they could flash an ad in front of you and they know that you drove by that billboard. And then they hope that you uh, they can then track you, uh, you know, via your cell phone to see if you went by that store. And so they're sort of giving that second piece of information that advertisers want. They want to know, you know, is my advertising working? Um, and with the geolocation data, they can provide, you know, very detailed uh, locations by, you know, either postal code or zip code um, for targeted advertising. One of the ones that they're doing right now is for insurance is they're helping to insurance companies to target their insurance based on, you know, certain demographics with, which they can use, um, you know, from using that, their ad technology and their geolocation data. And they're, and they're seeing much better returns, you know, for their advertising dollars. And that's what the, the, the end client wants. They want to know, you know, are my advertising dollars actually working? Am I generating uh, new leads as well as new new customer sales. Well, I'll tell you, you hit a lot of selling points. I mean, there's a lot of companies out there. We as investors, we're looking at everything. And uh, I noticed the strong balance sheet. Uh, you've got uh, reference to your February 2021 financing with gross proceeds of 11.5 million. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that strong balance sheet? You touched on a little bit already, but hit us with a couple of a key points and 
And I'm going to ask you to dumb it down for all of us out there that are <laughs> new to EQ Inc. And we're like, okay, this company sounds really great. I mean, the company uh, price was reporting at $1.62 when you put out this report. And I, I do see a, a, a price uh, target at two sixty. So obviously we as shareholders are going to you know, be looking and starting to do our due diligence process. Yeah, the, the 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 money they raised was both to help them, you know, to make sure they got through COVID, which which they're doing fine. They had revenue, or sorry, they had money in the bank to be able to do that anyhow. But but for right now, their revenue uh, is only four percent in the U.S. and the U.S. is the largest market. So uh, you know, some of the use of proceeds could be for a targeted acquisition in that in in the U.S. to give it a foothold. Um, for to to get a little more revenue from that from that region, uh, as I say, ninety six percent of the revenue right now comes from from Canada, and, and I think that that is a, a good sp- a spot for them to grow into, as well as you know as they grow their data business, they grow their data sets and often have licensing fees that go along with that, and that and that's what the, the use of the proceeds should be for. So you know again, I they're they're, they're going to take this money. And you know, accelerate their their growth with their with their data clients, and and that's a good reoccurring revenue stream, which should help with the, the multiple on the stock. Well, you you touched on many of the high points uh, that I had made pulled out from your report. Um, but I also thought uh, you pointed out that the Q4 uh, revenue will probably increase due to advertisers around Christmas time. Is that mm-hmm. correct? Yeah, so Q4 was probably the highlight or the uh, uh, high watermark for, for over the next couple of months. So there's a little bit of seasonality in Q1, uh, but overall we see you know revenue growing about 40% uh, from 2020 to 2021, uh, which is a good uh, bump for a small company. For again, it's a very small team. Uh, it is data sales analytics, so there is very high margins as they grow that business. So a lot of that revenue will drop to the bottom line. So just to confirm here, e-research is following EQ. You had initiated coverage, and this is a, an update that we're referencing. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, we initiated coverage about a year ago, and this is an update report uh, for this quarter. And we will follow them uh, and do quarterly reports uh, and, and more if there's a, you know, any major event like an acquisition. And of course, because we love compliance here at Investor Intel and respect it, I do need to clarify that you have received funds from EQ Inc. Is that correct? Yeah, I receive uh, funds from uh, one of their marketing support groups uh, to publish uh, my research on it. Um, in my reports, though, for um, you know, for clarity and, and for investors who are looking to look at my valuation, it's all uh, laid out in the report of how I do my valuation. Uh, and that, you know, any investor can change my metrics to get a valuation that would fit more in line with their assumptions in the marketplace. So it's, it's, it's a pretty open book, my reports, and, and I, I think it has a lot of value uh, for any investor who's looking into getting more information about EQ. I'll tell you, any analyst providing cliff notes for me to understand companies that are referencing things like petabytes is something that I appreciate. So Chris, as always, thank you so much for joining us and please come back to update us with EQ Inc. And of course, we may actually reach out to the CEO of EQ Inc. to do a follow-up interview uh, to ask some questions based on your report. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tracy.